Welcome back, it is Friday, that means FNA Friday for new animators. And today I wanna to do a series about the most common animation mistakes. <laughs> Excuse me, there's something in there. All right, in my 12 years of teaching, I have noticed a couple of things that come up so many times that I thought it is time to make a list. I have this list in email form that I send out to my students as a checklist, so why not do a series about that? And today I'm gonna to list all the things that I have in this email and each separate thing will get its own FNA because they're very specific. So when I say silhouette, it's not just generally silhouette. There's always one specific thing about making sure your silhouette is correct that students usually get wrong. So what is this list? First thing is blocking. Yes, I have made a series about this, so link up here and in the description and I'm not gonna talk about it anymore, but it's the general thing about blocking. So check out this series for all my thoughts on that subject. Next one is ease in and out. Again, this is not just general, there's something very specific that is kind of funky when it comes to starting and stopping an object or a character. It's just something that I wanna talk about that, but that one is super common. Then arcs, again, very, very common and I'll have very specific examples for that. Spacing kind of goes hand in hand with ease ins and outs and arcs, but there's also something very specific about spacing that I want to talk about. Then one that comes up all the time is the one frame direction change, which you could technically group into arcs and ease ins and outs and all that good stuff. But again, something very specific, one frame direction change. Then speaking of one, one axis movement. One axis comes up all the time and I will torture my students forever with that specific thing. Repetition, nothing repeats itself in terms of place, A to B and timing. Something very specific again I wanna bring up. Proper balance. Balance, and especially with weight shift, there's something again very specific. That's the thing about today, it's specific. There's one example that comes up all the time. And again, that will be its own FNA. And then offsets. Offset is huge in terms of twinning, not moving as one unit and just generally moving things pose to pose. And then silhouette. And again, not just generally a silhouette, there's one specific thing that people kind of get into and kind of causes some problems with the silhouette. So again, very specific examples for that. And then generally polish. Polish is its own white subject, kind of like blocking. So we'll see if I will break that up into its own subset as well. But there's something about taking on too many projects or projects that are too long and not having enough time to get to the polish phase, to really get into the nitty gritty, frame by frame, all that detail work. But I do want to bring it up. And this is something very common where students get to a certain level, but then they either run out of time or whatever the reason is to actually get into proper polish. So that goes back into keep things short short exercises so you can go through the whole process and actually finish and polish. Now, there is more, there's more stuff that I see in student work, but this list just comes up all the time. All the time! If there's something that starts to bubble up and feel like, hmm, this is also equally problematic, I will add that and obviously do one more FNA with new things, but for now, this is the big list that I send out and that comes up all the time. So look out for part two, three, and so on with specific animation examples and demos and so on. But for now, that is it. Get ready for that list. So there you go. As always, thank you for watching. This was a hopefully shorter one. And still, if you watched this whole thing and you liked it, you can hit that like button. You can subscribe and hit that bell button. As always, any questions, concerns, bribes, suggestions, whatever you have, comment section is open. Let me know and thank you.